Hello and welcome to another Thought for the Day for Thursday the 9th of September. And it's great to be sharing some reflections from Psalm 15 with you today. And I'll read the psalm first through to you. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbour and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person but honours those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Wow, so um, this psalm is a great reminder to us, but I also find it a huge challenge. So the psalm starts with mention of a sacred tent. And this is a reminder, of course, of the years when the Israelites were wandering um, in the wilderness. And in those days, God's tent, it was a portable sanctuary where he met with his people. And then God's holy mountain is a reference to Zion, where the magnificent temple was later built. And that was a permanent place for people to come and worship God. So this psalm is asking a big question, who is allowed, who is worthy of meeting God in praise and worship? So as I said, this psalm, it hits me as important, an important reminder and a massive challenge. It's all about our integrity and the question is all about worship. Who is allowed to worship God? So the psalmist is thought to have been King David and he is saying in no uncertain terms that if you wanted to worship God, you must lead a godly life. It was not possible to separate your worship life from your private life and whether or not you lived according to the religious law. So we're reminded that we honour God in all of our relationships with other people as well as honouring him in our prayer life. And the psalmist, he challenges us on many levels, doesn't he? Are our actions, our words, and our thoughts completely in line with each other? Do we always speak kind words about other people, not gossiping, not running people down? Do we share our possessions with all those who are in more need than us? These are challenging questions, but apply to us as much now really as they apply to the worshippers in the days of King David. Of course, today, with Jesus living in our lives, we can meet with God anywhere and at any time. Jesus has made it possible for us to have a much more intimate and personal relationship with God than the people um, of King David's time. But maybe with this luxury of this relationship, um, maybe it can be all too easy to fall into perhaps an over familiar relationship with God maybe entering into conversations with him without enough thought, preparation and reverence. So although we might live in really different times to when this psalm was written, it's such a good and important reminder to all of us. When we approach God in prayer or worship, whether that's in our church or at home or on a walk, are we honouring God throughout all areas of our lives are we honoring God in our relationships with all people and do we live our whole lives in complete honesty and integrity because this is what King David is saying is so important when we come to worship and to give praise and prayer to God. Amen. <laughs>